Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Ryusuke Hamaguchi, and I am the director of Wheel and Fortune and Fantasy. I am so uh, very delighted uh, to be able to bring my film uh, to this festival. Uh, it is a film about coincidences that happen in our everyday life and that sometimes transport us to another dimension. I hope that by seeing this film, uh, the audience can sense that uh, that kind of possibility, that there are certain things that happen uh, in everyday life that uh, can open the door uh, sort of to another dimension. パートナーの人ってえ何してる人あ製薬会社の研究開発なるほど何がなるほどうん影響あったあウイルスの研究データの流出とかはあったけどそれはどこもそうだったしうん元々顕微鏡の属仕事だからあんまり影響っていうのはないかなそっか何の帰りだったのお茶を習いに行っててへえ何うんなんか不思議な感じがしてでもきっと似合うねすごくお茶ありがと今から入れるのは申し訳ない
Inspiration came from the French director, Eric Romer, of course. Uh, uh, I had a chance uh, to uh, have a little conversation uh, with his editor, uh, Miss Mary Stephen. Uh, this was back in 2018, and I remember her mentioning uh, how uh, Mr. Romer truly valued uh, short film uh, filmmaking. And I really related to that. I uh, am a director who wants to uh, be able to uh, kind of uh, also in include uh, short film filmmaking uh, yes. while I do feature films as, as well. And I uh, also, uh, so it comes from the fact that, I've, first of all, I do revere the director, uh, Mr. Eric Romer, and uh, I also uh, really like uh, his film Rendezvous in Paris, uh, which is very much in the same form. So it really comes from that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in continuation from my uh, previous question, uh, of course, uh, Mr. Romer also, uh, throughout uh, his films, have also um, uh, told stories about fortune or chance, let's say, uh, and uh, it has also been a recurring uh, film, a recurring theme in my filmmaking as well. And I think a short film uh, is a very good um, form uh, for talking about uh, chance and fortune and so forth uh, in comparison with long film, uh, long feature filmmaking. Uh, I have seven actually short stories uh, that I want to, so there are three three short stories in this one. Uh, there are four more actually that I want to put under this umbrella of a fortune and fantasy, uh, much like Mr. Romer, uh, and I apologize for not being able to translate the actual title, but this, the, 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 the the um, the copy that was given it was, and I'll transliterate this, um, Seven Coincidences. I hope you know which film I'm talking about, but this is this was Mr. Romer's film. So it's very much in that vein as well. Mm -hmm. um, I found pieces of it incredibly well written. Um, for example, there's, uh, my, my personal favorite was uh, the storyline with uh, Sagawa Sensei, um, oh. in which he Basically, uh, he has those incredible lines like uh, refuse when society's ruler tries to measure you. You must embrace your own value that only you know. Um, could you maybe explain a little um, how that, that character came together? What your process was in the writing? <laughs> Often is the case that um, you really don't know where the actual idea comes from, um, but I do uh, nevertheless appreciate your comments. Thank you very much. Uh, the genesis of, of the idea, the seed of the idea, I suppose, comes from a friend of mine who works at a university, uh, and, and he was talking about uh, what kind of measures uh, were uh, considered appropriate to take in terms of um, preventing harassment uh, within the university. Uh, from there comes the door must always be kept open that from there comes that idea uh, and I thought that to be a very interesting situation that might leave the audience in a certain sense of suspense uh, so we started I started from there uh, I think the character of Segawa is also a character that develops uh, within the relationship with the other character the woman that he is talking to uh, who is kind of an unconventional character in her own right uh, but I just it was like I was discovering the character as I wrote the script as is with characters characters as well. I think characters kind of discover themselves in relation to another human being. But I think it's also a very gradual process as well. I also uh, discovered that uh, during each of these three short stories, there is a moment where the, the character seems to deliver a line, almost like a punchline, directly into the camera. For example, with uh, with Maiko in the beginning, it's it's something like, um, would you dare to believe in something less assuring than magic? Um, could you give me the idea behind those kind of straight into the camera moments? Hi. Hi. 
To talk about, first of all, the camera position, uh, that uh, full profile, that face uh, looking towards the camera, it's a position that I, I would always actually like to have the camera in, although that's not uh, practical, uh, because there is so much information in a person's face. Um, I could go so far as to say that you can really capture someone's soul when that, that face is looking right into the camera. Um, but for an actor who is acting in a film, it is the camera is nothing but a nuisance. And it could even capture that sentimentality as well. Uh, but what I do uh, on set is I try to uh, put the camera in that in that position when the actor or actress is in a peat stake of concentration. Now, this is something that you cannot predetermine or, or premeditate. Uh, so you have to really seek where those moments are while you are shooting. Um, and then you just put the camera right in, in, in front of them. Uh, and I think uh, by that you can capture that 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 moment where they will uh, put forth the most intense energy towards the camera and the best acting towards the camera. That certainly comes across. That's something you you deeply feel when you when you watch a movie. Um, you talked a little bit about before that that um, Wheel of Fortune and Fantasy is a continuation of of ideas or elements that um, you also had in your movies before, and that now you you also have four more short stories that you plan on on using in the future. Could you maybe tell us a little bit about what you're working on right now? This is as far as I can say. Uh, there are, as you mentioned, four other short stories that we have uh, as ideas. Uh, what I want to do is continue to make short stories in between other projects, so in a rhythmic way, so to speak. Uh, I want them to use these opportunities in order to, uh, for example, main, uh, maintain my skills, uh, try to brush up my skills, or maybe try something that was not unsuccessfully done uh, in a previous project, uh, or try something that I, I've always wanted to do and so forth and so uh, I wanted I want to keep on doing it over a long period of time um, these other four episodes are still in their seed stage so to speak uh, there's uh, there's only a simple log line about them and I don't know at this point when specifically I will be uh, uh, developing um, the, uh, the these projects uh, so that's really all I can say at this moment okay <laughs> I appreciate that um, and I'm looking forward very much to to the new projects as i'm looking forward to perhaps uh if if uh this, these times that we're living in allow um meeting you in person uh in the at the second half of the berlinale um uh, i hope so mm -hmm. and um i think that's that's it for me um i thank you so much for for taking the time and for being here and thank you so much for the film. I uh, enjoyed it very much and gave me a lot of thought and a lot of appreciation of of the humanity that it carries. I would like to extend my appreciation and thanks uh, for uh, the film festival, the Berlin Film Festival, for uh, creating this opportunity uh, for me and also for uh, doing the festival amidst this pandemic. I know that this is no easy feat uh, to do this in this form. And I really uh, commend and I really respect uh, the, the principle uh, of uh, the, that these people have, the attitude that these people have, the tr determination, let's say. I do hope that uh, I can uh, uh, share the film in June uh, in a theater with the audience, indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, we thank we so hope much. so. Hope so too. Um, and again, uh, thank you so much for being here.